Welcome to a Fallout 76 episode. I'm here on my alt character, and there's my main. We're outside of Fort Defiance. Now, I'm doing a new character and running it from the very beginning of the game outside of 76 through to the end of Wastelanders. My main character, Gamer Mom Over 50, played through and ended up siding with the settlers. So my alt character is going through the entire game again and will be siding with the raiders because I wanted to see what I missed. So anyways, in the process of doing all of this, I realized there are a couple of things that I missed on my main character, and one of them is the Brotherhood Recon Rifle. Now, you have to fully complete the entire Brotherhood of Steel quest line before you can get the Brotherhood Recon Rifle. Now, it's nothing special, but for those of you that are completists, this will help you out. When you're done, the entire Brotherhood quest line go here to the artillery battery terminal it's right outside the main door to Fort Defiance so go ahead and click on new registration and you will obtain a plan you'll see it in the upper left corner for the Brotherhood recon rifle and you use that actually during the event that happens here called line in the sand so let's head back to camp so go ahead and open your notes and learn the plan for the Brotherhood Recon Rifle. And let's see what choices we have. I have not learned very many uh, mods on this character yet. So let's take a quick look and see. Under machined guns. Whoop. Machine guns. There we go. Brotherhood Recon Rifle. Uh, just a lot of basic items needed to craft it and we can go all the way to level 50. So let's go ahead and craft one at level 50. And if you've never used a recon scope, I'll just show you really quickly what it does. So just find an NPC or creature. Now it doesn't work until you zoom in and move your cursor around. Now you saw the little diamond above your NPC. That figure will track, I know there's a guy in here. I think that's him. Same thing. Zoom in and it'll put a permanent pip on that character or creature. And the nice thing too is if you lose track of them, say behind a solid object like this tree or if it's the Scorch Beast Queen, you know where she is and you can take her out. And next up, where to find all the Scorched Killer receivers. Now, you go to Big Bend Tunnel East. It's just south of Fort Defiance. Now, right now, this is where the Blue Ridge Caravan Company is headquartered. And the little side quest is called Search Big Bend Tunnel for Survivors. Uh, the first survivor you're looking for is Holstein. And the orders from Melody for you will have a quest marker on it. So this is one of three bodies you need to search to find three notes and those three notes will turn into the schematic codes. Now, once you have recovered the schematics from all three bodies, you have to finish into the fire and join the fire breathers. And then you can read these codes. Now, I did it up to the point where I found them all. I just assumed it would unlock them. So what you have to do to get them to actually unlock is I had already registered with the fire breathers, then found the codes. So this time I found the codes and now I can go and register them. So they were just there in my notes. I just hadn't returned to the main computer system and actually registered the schematics because I did it in reverse order, whichever. But once you're finished the entire fire breathers, you return to the main terminal here, join the fire breathers and then after you register as a new fire breather, you can then unlock the schematics. There it says, schematic archive unlocked. I completely missed that before. And now that we have the three schematics, we go down to archive. Standard issue. That one they gave you for free. 
we didn't have to find anything on a body so that one's already done there we go so you unlock the stuff for the 10 millimeters and the assault rifle let's go back out and these should kick in the three that we found under support shotguns and rifles those are the three we found on the bodies unlocked handmaids pipe guns and submachine guns now these are all will give you usually a 25 to 30 percent boost in damage to scorched and this one unlocked combat shotguns double barrels and pump action shotguns and the last one rifles combat rifle hunting rifle and the lever action rifle so there you go just a little tip to help you out I've had these sitting around on my main and now both my main and my alt now own all of the Scorch Killer receiver mods. So there you go. Thanks so very much for watching and I'll see you out in the wasteland.